Today, the first topic would be um, what is diabetes and what are the types of diabetes. So, the commonest uh, types of diabetes is type 2 diabetes and type 1 diabetes. Uh, the other fact that the types of diabetes being gestational diabetes or drug induced diabetes. Uh, type 2 is the commonest form where most of our patients, about 95% of physicians practice, will be made up of type 2 diabetes patients. So type 2 diabetes is a combination of insulin resistance and insulin deficiency which is progressive and which leads on to insulin therapy in the later stages. Whereas type 1 diabetes or previously called as insulin dependent diabetes mellitus where insulin is essential for life. Today we will be talking about prevention of diabetes. Diabetes has a strong genetic preposition and those whose parents are diabetic or one parent is diabetic is generally prone to develop diabetes. In such a situation, how can the next generation prevent diabetes in them? Prevention is probably a, a distinct possibility if we can adhere to a good lifestyle where you can keep your lifestyle healthy and indulge in regular exercise at least four to five days a week. A brisk walk of 30 minutes a day should be adequate. The other lifestyle modification which we need to do is dietary modifications where we have to stay off sugars and sweets, fried foods and foods in rich in calories and fats. The other lifestyle modification that needs to be done is be free of stress. These are the factors that can help reduce the incidence of diabetes. Today we'll be talking about gestational diabetes, mellitus. Women these days are undergoing pregnancy at a later stage. Previously, they used the pregnancies used to get over by 20, 24, 25 years of age. Now, women who are 30 plus are also getting pregnant. And as they age, with a very strong family history of diabetes, they tend to develop gestational diabetes. Gestational diabetes is diabetes first recognized during pregnancy. So it is essential that all pregnant women be screened for diabetes, especially Indians and pregnant ladies who have a family, positive family history of diabetes need to be screened without fail. The glucose challenge test and the oral glucose test with 100 grams of glucose is essential to detect gestational diabetes. High complications of diabetes can vary from very mild to site threatening. The mild forms of complications are because of hyperglycemia where the lens undergoes acute changes in its focal length whereby the power of the eye ch keeps changing. It also causes an earlier cataract formation in patients with diabetes. These are minor complications which can be handled easily. The retinopathy, which is the dreaded complication of the eye, can be vision threatening if there is a retinal bleed which can cause a fractional retinal detachment. This can be prevented by regular glucose monitoring and strict diabetes control. All diabetic individuals beyond the 
beyond four years should undergo screening of the retina every six months to prevent and to assess retinal involvement. Complications of diabetes can be separated as acute and chronic. Acute complications would, would be classified as hypoglycemia, hyperglycemia or hyperglycemia associated emergencies. Hypoglycemia which is a low sugar due to patient factors or medication factors where the medicine is either an excess dose or patient has not adhered to medication in the form of overdose or has not adhered to the proper meal pattern may go in for a hypoglycemia. This is generally corrected with just a sugary drink or something to eat. Where patient requires assistance such as IV glucose, it is a and it becomes a real emergency or, or a severe hypoglycemia. Hyperglycemia would be due to lack of medication adherence or overindulgence in dietary uh, diet and these uh, are two acute emergencies that need to be addressed.